Okay, so this workshop is on force calculations. So the formula we're going to be working with here is F equals MA. So our F stands for force, which is a push or a pull that causes motion. The unit for force is newtons. The M stands for mass. Our unit of mass is kilograms. And the A stands for acceleration. And as we saw earlier, the acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. So our unit here is going to be meters over seconds squared. So for, for these force calculations, we measure velocity in meters per second. So our acceleration will be meters per second squared. One thing that helps you with this type of calculations, and you'll see this triangle for different formulas, it only works for a formula that has three components, where you have one thing equals something times something else. This triangle will help you do calculations. So in the top is going to be our force. In the bottom, we're going to have mass and acceleration. Okay. So let's say that you're, you want to find force. If you're trying to find force, that means you're going to be given mass and acceleration. So underneath force, go ahead and draw this triangle again. Anytime you don't know which formula to use or how to set this up, you always want to set up this triangle and then circle whatever is given for you. If you're trying to find the force, then mass and acceleration are going to be given to you. So if you circle mass and acceleration, it tells you your formula. So force equals this, mass times acceleration. Okay, so let's try another one. So under mass, I want you to write that triangle again. So this time we're trying to find mass. If you're trying to find mass, you're going to be given the force and acceleration. So if you circle those two, that's your equation. Mass equals force divided by acceleration. So basically every time you're looking for something, two things are going to give you every given time. to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll always give you two. So let's do acceleration. You want to take a guess at what the acceleration formula is? You know what? Mass times force. Hmm? Mm, um, A equals force times mass. Times? Divided by. Divided by, divided by. Divided by right? Because you're given force and mass. There's your yeah. equation. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. So for any of your force calculations that we do, it's going to use one of these three formulas, depending on what you're trying to find, force, mass, or acceleration. You'll always be given the other two things from the problem. Okay? So let's look at what this means in terms of the relationship between these two. Okay, so assuming that the force does not change, if my mass were to increase, what must be true of acceleration if force does not change? Decrease. It must decrease, right? Very good. So what happens if mass were to decrease? What would happen to the acceleration? Increase. It would increase. Exactly. This is very important when we consider different objects. So say, for example, that you have two shopping carts full of groceries. One of the shopping carts weighs 20 kilograms, and the other shopping cart weighs 10 kilograms. If you apply the same force, or you push them with the same amount of force, which one's going to accelerate more? The one with the less mass, right? Because the lower the mass, the higher the acceleration, as long as force is equal. Okay, so the lighter object is going to accelerate more with the same force. That's like if you wanted to push somebody over, if you took somebody who was really small and somebody who was really big and pushed them with the same amount of force, it's going to have a bigger effect on the smaller person, right? Yeah. Okay. We call this type of relationship 
where one goes up, the other goes down. This is called an inverse relationship. Inverse. Inverse relationship. Inverse relationship is the opposite of, of a direct relationship. So inverse means one goes up, the other goes down. Indirect. Opposite of what? Opposite of direct. Indirect will, will be... Direct would be like they both go up. Both go up or both go down. Okay, so let's try an example. Example one. Stool, can you read that problem for me? Calculate the force needed to accelerate an object with a mass of 3.5 kilograms at a rate of 5 miles per second. That would be square. meters, yeah. Oh, meters per second, meters per second squared. Miles would be in miles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to solve this the same way we did our calculations for the unit conversions. We'll start off with what we need to know. What you need to know is what the problem's asking you. So in this case, we're trying to find force. So force equals, we don't know. Then you'll list what you know. We know that the mass of this object is 3.5 kilograms. And we know that the acceleration is five meters per second squared. So looking at your three different forms of this equation, which one of those has what you need to know equal to the two things you're given? What? So look at your three equations that we wrote down. Mm -hmm. Which one of those has what you're looking for, your need mass to know? Mass times acceleration. Hmm? Mass times acceleration. Exactly. So force equals mass times acceleration. So this is, the formula that we're looking for is whatever we're trying to find should have both of these things on one side of the equation. So mass and acceleration should both be on the same side because we know both of those. Mm -hmm. So now all you have to do is plug it in and multiply. 3.5 kilograms times 5 meters per second squared. Now before I do any math, what do you think my units are going to be? Mm. Just look at the units here. Newtons? No. So the... the the unit of force is newtons, but look at my problem here. What am I, what are, kilograms, kilograms times what? Meters. Meters. So, so this unit, yeah, meters it's, meters it's gonna be kilograms times meters over second squared. Lucky for us, the newton is equal to kilograms times meters over second squared. So if you end up with this unit, which is really newtons, then you know you've set up your problem right. Okay, so now we can do the math. So you plug this in and 17.5 newtons. And to let me know that that's your answer, put a box around it, force equals 17.5 newtons. And that's your answer. To solve every problem here, other problems are going to give us, we have to use the three formula. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have to use one of them, right? So we mm -hmm. to either divide or multiply. Or multiply. Multiply. 